All right, guys. So here's another DIY diagnosis, troubleshooting, fix. Um, if you guys have issues with your Chrysler 200 and it's a no crank, no start issue, um, a lot of these cars with push start have brake switches. All right. The brake switch is on the brake pedal. All right. If that brake switch has issues or is malfunctioning, your car will not start. Everything will turn on, but it will not crank because it is not reading that your brake is depressed. <clears throat> now, you guys can go and change out that brake switch. You guys can change out that brake switch, swap it out. Um, it's pretty expensive at AutoZone, relatively speaking. That brake switch will probably run you around $100. Uh, if you guys get on eBay, it's probably around $20, $15, somewhere around there. But obviously, if you guys are stuck in this situation where you guys have a no crack, no start. All right. If you guys are in this situation, there is a good chance that you guys are not going to wait uh, a whole entire week or to, to get that brake switch. You guys will either go to AutoZone and, and get it and then come back to your car, take it out, put it back in. But here's how to test out if it is the brake switch that's the issue. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to try to start the car. You're going to put your foot on the brake and you're going to have somebody uh, check out the brake lights. If the brake lights are not on, all right. It is your brake switch that's the issue. If your brake lights are shining and bright, then it probably isn't your brake switch. Could still be the brake switch, probably not. All right, at that point, it's probably not your brake switch. So if you guys are in this situation <coughs> where your car is not cranking up, your engine is not cranking, it's not starting, all right, if this is a very simple troubleshooting step. All right, and this might be the first go-to step in this no crank, no start situation. All right, have somebody press the brake pedal. Have you or somebody press the brake pedal <clears throat> and see if the brake lights light up. If they do light up, it's not the brake switch. If they don't, obviously it's the brake switch. All right, swap out the brake switch. Chances are good, your car will start.